is Alan Clemens with the Clemens Law Firm. I'd like to speak for a moment about corporations, corporate formation. Whenever you're deciding how to form a business, one of those first questions you've got to ask is how will that business be developed? Will it be a corporation? Will it be a limited liability corporation? How will it be taxed? Will it be a sub-S type corporation? The first place to ask that question is with your, your tax advisor, your CPA. You should inquire as to the type of corporate structure that would best suit your business needs. Generally, your tax advisor will advise uh, that you in South Carolina consider a limited liability corporation. Clemens Law Firm can assist you with all of your business needs, including the formation of a limited liability corporation or an LLC. An LLC can be taxed like any other corporation, uh, depending upon the designation that's chosen once the corporation has been formed. Again, Clemens Law Firm would work with your tax advisor on the decision of what the best sort of tax treatment may be for a given LLC or other type of corporation. How does an LLC differ from another corporation? Well, certainly in one area there is no difference, and that is the ability to protect your, your personal assets and segregate those assets away from liability that may be incurred by a limited liability corporation or other corporate structure. That's called a corporate veil. The corporate veil applies or refers to uh, an invisible curtain that's drawn between the assets of the business and your own personal assets. Should you incur liability through the business, the intent is to protect your personal assets from attack. For that reason, I always advise that businesses be formed and operated under some sort of corporation. Again, usually LLCs. With an LLC, you can also protect your identity and the identity of the other members or participants in the business enterprise. There is a form to be, that's required to be filed with the South Carolina Secretary of State that will identify the name of your, your new business, will identify its corporate structure, such as an LLC, and it will also identify the identity of a person or a business who is authorized to receive legal process on behalf of the business. There is no identification as to the members or partners uh, involved in that corporate entity or the LLC. I recommend highly that if you are in business and operating as a sole proprietorship, give us a call. Let us talk to you about the options that you may have to prevent liability from falling upon your personal shoulders should liability befall your business. As to other business matters, we at Clemens Law Firm are always ready, willing, and able to answer your questions and lead you down the road of success in your business.